How many more can there be? You vodka. You drink too much. Why, Buck? You're drunk. Vodka good? Brain pain always comes with. They killed my woman. Who killed her? 
Don't know. Me sit on bread. Guts to drink. In can't go. You're imagining things, troll. There's no one here. Boys pull punching tricks, that's how they get their kicks. But hear me when I say, an orange a tiny price to pay. Who does King Ziggy behold? Given any thought to my proposal? Give me the details. Only once you've made your mind up, my friend. For now, you'll have to make do with the lure of fame and coin. Or you can go on wasting your talents beating the dust out of drunkards around the inns. What do you say? I'm ready. I'll explain on the way. Spit it out. Know what Flotsam's famous for? Nothing. You're wrong there. There are only two towns worth visiting in the Pontar Valley. Bondar, famous for having the most beautiful whores in the north, and Flotsam, for having the best fist fighting scene. Who organizes these fights? Officially, no one. But look hard and you'll be surprised what you can find. It's a vibrant scene with winners and losers of all kinds. I promote fighters. Place them in tournament. Halt! Don't recognize King Ziggy? I know you. But who's the other one? He looks dangerous. Like all of King Ziggy's fighters. Well, that farman you brought in last time was carried out all broken in no time. This one will be different. You'll see. The Commandant himself will bet a fortune on him. All right, but if I'm to let him in, he has to leave all his weapons here. Fine. You're a rich man already. The weapons will be waiting in the trunk outside the gate. Laredo. In the flesh. Does he condone these fights? Condone? He sets them up. A lot of coin at stake here. I haven't been too lucky lately, but I believe you'll change that. People will remember King Ziggy. Just don't disappoint me. Mm.
Stand your ground! Ziggy the Clown returns. And in grand fashion. I've got a contender who's about to be famous. The Monster Slayer? How'd you talk him into fighting? King Ziggy has his ways. All in all looks promising. We're about to make Flotsam famous for its mug fights. They'll sing songs about Ziggy and Geralt. You just win and I'll take care of the rest. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Grand. I'll hear you say my name with reverence yet. Twigs will be your first opponent. So cool because Bones snap with his every punch. I love these pussies with cocky names. Sock it to him! Stand your ground! Finish the fucker off! Sock it to him! Beautiful job, rearranging his face. Who's next? One Punch Matho. Name says it all. Downs most opponents with his first punch. I'll see if I can't make him throw a second. Good luck. Stand your ground! Sock it to him! Stand your ground! Finish. You're the discovery of my lifetime. Think we're made for each other? Indeed. But we've a long way to go. Your next opponent is Smugface, also known as Tassel Dick. Not too popular then. He has tassels on his clothes. Last month, he bit his opponent's ear off. Bring on this tassel day. Stand your ground! Suck it to him! Finish the fucker off! Stand your ground! One more and we'll be rich and famous. Who is it? Stanek. In a rumble it takes at least four lads to take him down. I'll do it single-handed. Don't underestimate him. Witcher, come here a minute. It's impressive technique. Thanks. Last fight's coming up, and everyone's betting on the dead cert. You. Except for me. What do you want, Lorito? Stenek has to win, but the true winners will be you and me. A third of the jackpot's yours, and that's not an offer. I see. You're a regular con. Your opinions don't interest me. You ought to take a dive. That's that. Piss off, old man. Sock it to him! Finish the fucker off! Uh. 
Socky to him. Pay up. Here's your coin. The guards will take you to the gate. You'll regret this. I told you we'd win. I've got a real sense for these things. I think you owe me something. Why don't we have some fun first? A free round at every inn, not to mention the girls. You can screw my share. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. Good day. Commandant Laredo sends his regards, punk. About what, new boy? Disperse! Go home! And take it to heart. <coughs> yeah, what? Never, ever what say that? that again. Witcher Geralt, known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Taller warned me you'd be catty. Taller sent you. Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. P.S. You really <coughs> fucked up at the castle. Godspeed. Give my best to Taller. Oh, I will. Yeah. Hey there, Witcher! Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalette Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. Thank you. May the gods protect you. Uh, uh. 
Welcome to my mod. What do you all kinds of for Greetings. Get the fuck out! <laughs> I guess the crisis ate away those eight thousand orans from the. Did you see that? Uh, won't even wag Greetings. Any progress? Triss claims the Karen was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. Alchemists use troll tissue in their research, don't they? Troll eyes and tendons are potent ingredients, useful in many potions. White Raffard experimented with their blood, claiming it had regenerative properties. He was wrong, of course. Is there any reason an alchemist would want a troll's whole head? I don't think so. Unless he wanted a trophy. Any progress? I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Kairans are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
We did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you all right? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every Witcher. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right. It's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work. Collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me. Time is of the essence. Farewell, then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. We'd best get to work. Thieves and bandits everywhere.
My medallion vibrates when you're nearby, and it only vibrates near magic or danger. Maybe it's warning you not to make a pass at me, lest I slap you. You're right. I should watch what I do. Listen carefully. People may say I'm a witch, but I don't deal in spells. You don't look like someone who'd come for a charm or a curse. So you either seek out sensations or hunt witches. Whichever the case. I'm not about to denounce you, nor do I want to see you dancing naked in the moonlight before Veopatis' shrine. How dare you! I want to buy some herbs. Herbs? For personal use. Tell him, I'm taking your pouch, or your pouch and your life. Job done. The Karen's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. What did he say? Third option. Then his hand dinged towards his knife. Nervy. What then? Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Skoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. He got a bolt in the back. Too bad he turned out to be poor. The poor ones are always uppity.
What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Laredo's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey, wakey, Coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. Look, Birdie's all wet. Looking at me. Get ready, Birdie. We'll be there to see you right after our watch. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorvith. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. You have to tell me. I'm on your side. If you say so. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. We got what we came for. What now? Yorvith. What if Yorvith already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorvith fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one, among the last. Fighting makes sense, now more than ever before. There is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change, for a better tomorrow. They'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time.
People believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Shut your traps! Stop bloody moaning down there! Look, Coffer's dozed off. Wakey wakey, Coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. Boss, so what about that bonus? I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. 
Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The Rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymeril. Cedric said Cymeril eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty. And Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions. And that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my. Lovely. Look at it. It's beautiful. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Jorvith and his kind are taking revenge, but not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal. A certain vision of the world, but do you think there's room for humans in it? We're practically one and the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. Triss. Cymeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks, even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? They'd be plowing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs, the heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. And Kill them! Hit the tree! Watch out! what the end shape built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're trapped. Looks like we're stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be another way out of here. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. 
So could you. A witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymeru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We Enche remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's sighs are enchanted within these very stones, though only those in love can hear them. Bushes, jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Well, I'm buggered. We should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Scoia'tael, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorvith. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. Yorvet's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone... I'll understand. 
And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind? Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I think so. And I think you're right. I don't owe anyone anything. I'm glad you've noticed that. But that doesn't mean I'm willing to sit around doing nothing. You need time anyway, and in that time I'll catch the Kingslayer. Geralt, please, be careful. I'll go see Zoltan, and together we'll go find Yorvith. With a little luck, I'll capture the Kingslayer, and then... we can go back to living our own lives. Good. Will you talk to Roach? I'll think about it. Gerald! Gerald! There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoyatel are out in droves. Wait, Vernon. We need to talk. About what? A few days from now, I plan to leave, get back on the path, back to my Witcher's work. That'll mean the end of our mission. Care to tell me what prompted this decision? Triss. She knows how to restore my memory. Why not drop everything and leave now? Triss needs time to prepare the spells. You're giving up. No other name for it, you're just giving up. What of the Kingslayer? Many still believe you're him. I don't think I care anymore. Those whose opinions I value, well, they know the truth. Uh-huh. You see someone kick a dog, and you're incapable of letting it go. And you want to release that fiend who we've succeeded in cornering, who's thrashing to get out of the cage we've put up around him. I want nothing of the sort. I'm not leaving for a few more days. In that time, I'll catch Letho for you. That's the Kingslayer's name, incidentally. I know how to get him. How? You're not going to like this, but it'll involve working with the Scoyatel. Is your mind completely plowed at this point? Did Triss put this nonsense in your head? Listen to me. You'll get your Kingslayer soon. I'll give you him or his head. After which you'll clear me of all charges and let me go my way. What else? Perhaps you'd like me to embrace Yorveth in gratitude as well. Yorveth's not my problem. I'm no elf hunter. I've never been one, and I don't intend to become one. Oh, enough. You've made your decision, I can see that. So be it. But I think we all know who's being the prick here. I'm glad you're here. What's going on, Geralt? A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoyatel. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edern. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam, on the border between Temeria and Edern, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the ass. The north's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lerido in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. I found a patient's chart in the ruins of the hospital. You mean the burned-down insane asylum? They committed him to the asylum because he'd insisted he'd been a prisoner of the Wild Hunt. He claimed he'd been in a world without humans, where he'd seen herds of unicorns. He managed to return to our world after a year, only to find his children had died of old age. Following this, Vernon, it means he'd been to a world where time flows a lot slower. Lorita wants the Scoyatel gone for good, 
He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorvats outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Lorito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Squirtel. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. So long, Roach.